So I have here with me Mrs. Jane Toogood, Chief Executive Catalyst Technologies, Johnson Mathy. Welcome to this interview and welcome to ADIPEC. There was a session about hydrogen. Could you please tell us what was all the discussion about? Well, we had a discussion all about the practicalities of deploying hydrogen at scale. So what's happening today and how do we overcome some of the hurdles to make sure it is deployed? Is hydrogen there yet or are we still working towards that? And with all what's happening around us, how would that change the path to hydrogen? So, of course, hydrogen has been there for a long time. So it's not that hydrogen isn't used today. It is used. But the question is, how could it be firstly decarbonized in the way it's being used today? But secondly, how it can be properly deployed as a vector in the energy transition? And of course, we're not there yet today. It's very early stages. And indeed, that's what we were discussing. We're, we're not there yet, but there is plenty of technology available. There are people who are committed to actually putting hydrogen projects into play and there is financing but what we need are some frameworks to make sure that these early projects get over the line and investment decisions get taken. As an expert what do you think the main challenges nowadays are facing the energy transition and all the sector in general? Oh if we're talking so that's a very broad question of course I mean hydrogen is one part of the solution for the energy transition and it needs we need every part we heard that in the opening ceremony how important it is to be moving on every front hydrogen is a part of that and it also needs to move forward at some pace now and I think in terms of you know some of those hurdles that we've got making sure that these early projects particularly around hubs or clusters, making sure those move forward is very important. Because what they do is they bring together the combination of demand and supply. And so you can actually prove that you can get an hydrogen economy moving on a subscale or a smaller scale. And then you can make sure that you attach those hubs and gradually build a proper functioning hydrogen economy that can help the energy transition for the world. And for whom who don't know much about hydrogen yet, some are saying it's clean, some are not. So what do you tell our audience how important is hydrogen for the future? So hydrogen is really important for the future. It's a part of decarbonizing and people get, it is very confusing the way it gets talked about. In the end, what you want is low carbon hydrogen. Different countries at the moment have a different definition of what this means. But fundamentally, you want to be producing hydrogen at an at a intensity or a, by reducing carbon dioxide emissions by as much as 97% and ideally also as much as 100%. So there are different types of hydrogen which are discussed, but fundamentally it's about low carbon hydrogen, either 97% low carbon or 100% low carbon hydrogen, and then deploying that as a source of energy in different uses for industrial heating, for example, or as a building block for chemicals. Thank you. Thank you.